in today's video, we're gonna create a beautiful pink tone edit. I'll show you how to save that as a preset that you can apply to any other image with just one click. Then we'll export those images out, ready for your social media channels. Here are just a few examples of the effect. Hi all, thanks for joining me. I'm Age from Liquid Earth, where we publish photography and Lightroom tips and tutorials every week, as well as presets and filters for your social media channels. So we're gonna start on this image. So the first thing we want to do is go into our light, and we're gonna up the contrast a little bit to plus 22. Take our highlights down to minus 66. Up our shadows to plus 52, whites down to minus 18, and take our blacks up to plus 14. Next, go into the curves and we'll choose the RGB curve, and we're just going to raise the bottom left hand point up about a third or so into the image, and that's just going to flatten the blacks out into dark greys. Then go into your green channel, tap to add a point in the centre and pull the green down a tad and then press done. Next up we're going to go into colour and we're just going to take the vibrance up a little bit. So move that to plus 16 and leave the saturation at zero. Next though go into your colour mix and we're going to change the colours starting off with green so leave the red orange and yellow exactly as they are so with the green we're going to take our saturation down to minus 72 and the next channel is aqua we're going to take the saturation down also go to minus 68 and in blues we're going to take the saturation down to minus 78 in our purple channel we're going to move the hue slider all the way up to plus 100 and we're going to increase the luminance to plus 49 and finally in the magenta channel I'm going to move the hue slider down to minus 31 and move our luminance up to plus 50 and press done. Next up is effects and take our clarity down to minus 55 and dehaze down to minus 30. Click on your split tone in icon Move our highlights to a saturation level of 14 and a hue of 297 and our shadows we have a saturation of 16 and a hue of 299 and press done and then we're going to press detail add a little bit of sharpening to our image so for this one we're going to do plus 61 and they're going to mask that out to plus 57 and that completes our edit. So next step, we want to save that as a preset. To do that, we're going to press our three dots and create preset, the preset and name. We'll name this Pink Candy Frost, press done. Click your user presets, you can save it there or you can create a new preset group at the bottom. Name your preset group. I'll just call this Pink Presets for the time being and press the tick. Now here are the parameters that you want to save. So we're going to save light, color, effects, and detail as a bare minimum, and then press the tick. And now that's saved as a preset, we can apply that to any other photo. So open another photo, click on your presets tab, navigate to where you saved that preset, as was under pink presets, and just tap on the icon. And let's try it on this image. Press tick to complete, and that's done. To share to social media or save to your camera, just press the share icon, and you can see you've got either a share to at the very top, or you can export. I'm using an iPhone, so I can export directly to my camera roll, or an instant copy. And we're done. Thanks for joining me, guys. I really do appreciate it. If you like the video, 
please hit that little thumbs up and subscribe. That all really helps me to grow the channel. I've also saved this as a free preset. You'll find a link in the information below. As ever, welcome any comments and if you have any suggestions for presets, please let me know. For the first three comments with suggestions, I'll guarantee to build those presets for you. How about that? Thanks again and I'll see you guys next time.